got one decoy here, it's coming from way out. Um, it's coming straight across the field now. If this one decoys, it'll be a crack if the head coming right across the field straight at us. Um, it looks like he might. Just because he's going to curl in on that. Lovely shot there. Considering we're only using um, 29 gram six and some of you say two light. Well, that was a big carry in there and that was light straight out. <laughs> carry him there. Absolutely stone dead. Wrecked him high right over there. Um, so we're just gonna pace that back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that there, back to bare folks, is 48 yards. So that was a decent range, that shot. Um, well happy, massive carrion, stone dead, 29 gram sixes. So it shows you can stop them at range with them. So I'm just gonna now add this to the pattern. Um, set up there, I don't know how well you can see in the light, just to hide against the barn there. Um, Decent backdrop, it blends in quite well as you can see. I didn't want to shoot in the barn and put a net across the front just because of the echo of a shot, it'd be really, really noisy. But I've just been set up probably five minutes. Shot two, I don't know if you can see this one here now that I'm out in the decoys. They're coming straight for us. Um, that jackdaw there would have probably decoyed had we been in the hide, but I've just there looking at him, um, just circling, was trying to come round. So I'm just going to pick those two up I've just shot. The first one's here. Um, and the second one's just over there. Um, the reason I've set up on the barn is, I don't know if you can see very well, but you can obviously see the trees right round the field. But there's actually no hedges, but only hedges there. But it's right by the side of the main road. Over there there's a caravan site and a horse, um, a horse livery uh, yard. So I've got, like stayed as far this way of the field as I can. Hence why I've set up by this barn, as you can see there. The hide really does blend in well actually, I was a bit kind of sceptical to see what it would look like, um, but it actually looks pretty good. So there's the first jackdaw of the day, there's the second one, nice left and a right. Um, let's say only been set up a couple of minutes, probably not even five minutes and straight away they came in. So I'm just going to add them to the spread. Um, decoys will stand out really nice here, I'm on the top of a bit of a ridge on the field, it's kind of on the brow. So the decoy should stand out really well. I've just got some flock coated shells and some flock coated full bodies um, and some plastic full bodies. Um, and then I add the real what uh, like obviously the ones I've shot to the pattern um, just to make the pattern look good, make it look big, um, stand out, and that should take the focus off the dead off the decoys once the pattern starts getting bigger. It's um, later than I thought, I wanted to set up about midday, but with someone on the field metal detecting, he's just to say finished now. So I got set up earlier, just so the minute he left, we'll get a few hours now. The rooker is just over there, my crows flighting out over that way. So they're going right across here, back to the rookery. So I'm expecting to get a good bit of action late afternoon, actually. I did the other night, I'm expecting to again, because as they head back to the rookery, I should be right on the flight line to intercept them is what I'm hoping, so fingers crossed we can get a few. Nice one there, just thought um, 
there was a pair of them and I just thought the other one was going to come back around that's what I was waiting out for um, but he, he went round the back of the barn unfortunately so I couldn't get just a Just something I want to quickly mention is um, decoy spread and decoy range um, I think oh, I thought that one there just gone round the field I think he's actually going to decoy I don't know if you can see him there um, there just film that one um, that'd have been a lovely shot there, he wanted to come in but he was already filming so I just thought we'd film that one and show you something coming in. But um, what I was saying with decoy spread is, I've got my furthest decoy probably only about 35 yards away. Um, just because, the, the, you know, the, I, do, I do like carvage right in the spread, especially if you're getting sort of carrions or rooks and they're maybe slightly tougher. Um, at least you can get them right in um, and you know they're going to be killed because I'm still using a 29 gram 6 um, which I use for the pigeons um, I think they are, I think they're absolutely fine on the, uh, the carvid some people will argue saying you need a heavier cartridge but I just say uh, rather than make, getting a heavier cartridge why not just bring your decoy spread in use field craft make a big um, make a good hide sorry bring the birds right in and kill them at a good range rather than getting a heavier cartridge and shooting them at 40 and 50 yards to me there's just no skill in that so I just say uh, Use your lighter cartridges, stick to what you're using, and use bloody field craft and, you know, get them right in. Because at the end of the day, there's plenty of folk out there using 410s and hush powers, 20 bars, to shoot carvids and may have great success. So you don't need these big heavy cartridges, in my opinion. But I just, with carvids, I don't really have a decoy spread. I'll just look at it there. You can just see I've just got them dotted all over. No formation, no pattern. Just a big spread, plenty of gaps so they can land. Um, like I say, it usually works, so see how it goes anyway. Lovely shot that one, nice long distance. Got the first one, just a shame about the second one, it would have been nice to get a left and a right, but unfortunately not, wasn't to be. First miss of a day as well, that one, so it was, that's a bit disappointing, but good day so far. Um, decoying well, problem was there, one of them decoyed well, the other one always kind of stayed out, so it was always a difficult shot, but at least we took the opportunity and got one in the bag. Now hopefully that'll have uh, picked up on the video, that's, that's field craft as good as it got there. You saw that rook come in and I just just turned away but I left him to hope he'd come back round and he did, like I thought he would and you can just see by that, the hide's clearly perfect, they didn't see us. Turned away and came back over the decoys and then almost landed, so it proves the decoys were fine. So that just shows... Um, spend time making a good decoy spread and a good hide and it'll pay off um, and you'll have a nice easy shot there and to be frank you could have shot that with um, seven and a half, eight, eight, you name it probably even 21 grams because that is 15 yards um, just how you want them right in the decoys know you're going to get a big clean good clean kill Just a couple of jackdaws moving here folks, um, one's just gone past, I've got another coming from the left which looked like he was going to deco but he's just turned off unfortunately, um, I don't think he's going to come.
just going to keep the camera running because there's a few birds moving about but they just don't seem to be coming in our direction yet. I had a few going across the top of the field, a few going across the bottom um, but unfortunately nothing wanted to decoy but that's how it goes sometimes, they don't all always want to. Well, that was a high bird, and them 29 grammers again just proving the worth. Um, missed him on the first shot. I think it was just a bit too far in front of him actually, and then got him with the second. He, he looked as though he was a runner as he came down, but he's actually stone dead just over there now. Another nice bird down there, a nice jackdaw. Um, had the wind behind him that one, so he wanted to decoy. You could see he had his wings set, but because of the wind, he just couldn't stop, so we had to take that one flighting over, but a nice shot. Another bird down there, nice. Nice rook that time, decoyed well. Just gonna go and pick that one up and add him to the spread. So folks, we're just, just packing up now. Um, after a nice little afternoon shooting a few um, Corvid's mixed bag of jackdaws and uh, carrions. I don't actually know how many I've got. I reckon it'll be around about 10 or a dozen, but we'll see when we've packed up in a minute. I'm just packing up now. It's got to 6 o'clock and it's, it's died up, but um, with what I'm expected to have got off here today, it'll be just shy of 50 in two trips on here. So um, mainly jackdaws, but I'd have thought it'd be about half a dozen or eight carrions now, which is good because there was actually a clutch of curlew chicks on here um, which with it being a big grass open field like this uh, the chances are them carrions would have got them so um, it's good to get a few of them um, a few of them off here just today testing the deer hunter strike trousers just uh, and uh, just this long sleeve deer hunter t-shirt I had for a while now these strike trousers of a new range lovely bit of uh, clothing smart and i like them as well because this material is like a stretch material so you've got some give in them which is good for like you know when you're climbing over fences or styles um lightweight pair of trousers ideal for summer's day like today so like them trousers good piece of kit i'm just having a count of the final bag now so we've got one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, oh, one left on the bouncer, so that's eleven jackdaws, two carrions, so thirteen. Um, uh, was that right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Sorry, eleven, eleven jackdaws there. One on the bouncer, so that's 12 jackdaws and two carrion, so 14 in total, which is a good little day actually. Only shot, set up about four, shot till six, so two hours.